What's up, guys? How's it going? I know it's been a while, but I am back, and I actually just had a coaching session with the best Pikachu player in the world, Esam. It honestly was super beneficial and just really interesting to pick his brain and get help with some of my weaker areas. So he's a coach on Metify just like myself. And so if you are interested in any kind of coaching, whether it be from me or Esam, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description below. So I didn't want to have to cut out much of this video, so I left in the entire coaching session clip between his stream and what I've recorded. So make sure to watch the entire thing through. There's a lot of good stuff in here, a lot of cool moments. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought was the biggest thing you learned or what you're going to try to implement. Okay, let's hop in. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good. Sorry if I sound a little nasally, just been a little sick this week. You sound totally fine. Perfect. Uh, really quick question. One, are you okay with your voice being broadcast on the stream? That is totally fine. I stream and make videos myself. Cool. You have a good content voice. <laughs> Thanks. So let me turn your thing on. Also, what are your pronouns? Uh, he, him. Okay. Just like making sure. Let me move chat to where I normally have chat. Let me go to the Metify. I was just playing uh, Multiverses. I'm oh. like, oh my god, a game controller. How nice. <laughs> I signed up for the alpha, but didn't receive the code yet. So how's it uh, feel right. so far? I like it. I think it's super fun. It's good. It's different, but it's fun. Like, is it going to be my main game? No. Yeah. Probably not. Unless there's like a billion dollars. Yeah. That's just what it, it seems to be. If it has a big prize pool, then it'll drop people in. Uh, so let me go to your lesson thing. You want overall improvement in neutral and pushing advantage state. Less trapping and edge guarding are strong areas, but you struggle against more aggressive characters. And who do you play? Uh, I play banjo. Okie dokie. Sounds good. Because that sounds about right. Of not, of not being able to deal with rushdown. Yes. Um, and so I actually, I'm a Metify coach as well. And so um, focusing in on banjo, like when it comes to the actual character and optimization, like that's fine there. But it definitely is against characters like say fox or chic um mm -hmm. that kind of kind of just land on you for free over and over and over again um it's just kind of dealing with that um and then also like even for example like there's a wee fit here in my region who loves just fishing for landing there and things like that and so just figuring out the best way to handle those kind of situations okay um well fox is a little harder but in terms of landing, I just I guess let's uh, play a couple games. I'll go a struggle character in Fox because you specifically want help with those type of characters, right? Right. Okay. So I'll go Fox. Perfect. Uh, also, the, the room info is in the Discord. Yep. Just saw it. Yatsu Teru? Is that what that says? Yatsu Teru? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what the word means, but I, I, I'm reading the characters. Let's go learning Japanese slowly but surely. <laughs> um, so I think that overall, like what you're going to want to do in terms of landing aerials is you have to just whiff punish and you have to position yourself uh, correctly, which yeah. obviously hard. Right. But like it's something I do a lot when I play Pika. Yatsute is how are you? Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I'm good. But so when you're playing against characters that are like trying to land on top of you, especially if you don't have good out of shield options, like, hold on, we're not fighting yet. Okay. Uh, especially with good, when you don't have good out of shield options, like Banjo kind of doesn't, his best up smash or his best out of shield option is up smash, right? Right. At seven yeah. or eight. At seven. Like that's decent, mm -hmm. but like, obviously it's a big commitment, right? Right. Um, can you do this in auto? Nope. Um, so what you're going to want to do a lot of the times is just like, let's say there's someone has, everyone when they're landing has a cone of like where they can go mm -hmm. based on their air mobility and their fall speed, right? Right. So if I'm above you, the cone is from here to here. Obviously the cone gets smaller the farther you are down. And so what you want to do is pick your best spot in regards to those. For Fox, I would recommend staying in front of him. Uh, so like if I'm falling facing this way, you should be on oh, really? the right. Right. Because, like, Nair hits both sides, so it doesn't really matter. But back air is a unique threat behind, and back air is really good and really safe. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to generally want to do is to be outside the cone, and hopefully you can wait long enough to, 
you know, make it the, so the cone is kind of small so you can dash out, dash, and dash attack. Like, simple right. things like that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's hard because Banjo dash attack is not a combo starter. Um, you don't really have a lot of ground combo starters. So getting, like, a whiff punish like that isn't going to reap you a bunch of rewards, which is hard because then if they get the one landing correct, they're going to deal you 60. Right. I'm going to be like, oh, nah, 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 yeah. nah, right, fucked up. Uh, but I think that's just kind of a banjo's not super good but conceptually you can just play better than them right i think it's just maybe in theory with it i could do um the reverse start combos like a brigal blaster combo like that to catch the landing but it also that's just hard because it's it's early right. so like you're that's a really early commitment also your eggs can just lose to the aerials because right fucking projectiles right right um so i personally wouldn't do that unless you're already like in the whoops sorry in the stance of gotcha. just like the the in the shot but then of course you're limiting your other options right also technically you can just up air them so the more okay. you like air to air someone the more likely it is that they will air dodge or swing early and okay. that means if you stay on the ground you'll be able to see what they're doing and then you get the hit okay does that make sense yeah that does totally like there's a reason why sparkle goes up air up air up air back air is cloud and then suddenly he just goes up smash yeah just conditioning <laughs> correct also, it's not even, it's just like good options, right? It's, it ends up just being a guessing game, but the odds are in his favor because he understands that people are panicking if they get hit by four up airs because you should be panicking if you get hit by four up airs. Right. Yeah. Let's fight. Sorry for the 1.7. Nope. You're good. Oh, I spot dodge instead of just shielding. I'm a fool. <laughs> oh. You're doing yeah. the thing. The the Kauzi? Yeah. yeah. Is that the name of it? Yeah, I was actually the one That's who amazing. coined it. That's hilarious. Oh, that lingered. That lasted for so long. <laughs> oh, pfft. I was trying to back air, not roll. Oh, okay. Can't grab that. No, fuck. Can't grab that. I don't know why I'm going for that grab. Because you assume I'm going to shield because you up-smacked me last time? Oh, I didn't dash. <laughs> nice. That was, that was kind of jank. <laughs> <laughs> Your banjo's sick. Say again, sorry. I said your banjo is sick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, also you can if you're struggling with like people just landing on top of you, you can just play like a sword character with forward tilt. Just yeah. like being able to like yeah. dash an F tilt. Like even if you're not again, you're not going to get that much off of it. But also, you play banjo, you kind of know you're not going to get a bunch of off right. off of your random hits. Um, and if you're willing to accept that which is fine and I'm going to not talk about it like that. Talk about <laughs> it like that anymore. But like if 
if you're playing Banjo, you still have to just use his tools accordingly. So if someone is just like landing on you, just dash back and F tilt or dash back and down. Right. Down. Yeah. And and that's what like I've tried to do. And I think one of my biggest issues too, which you might've seen there too, is last time I'll catch myself just standing or shielding underneath the character above me, just trying to land on me. And I think it goes more to yeah. just that awareness of that cone of what you're saying of it. I should get either mm -hmm. to the left or the right, depending on the character. I um, mean, sometimes shielding is fine as well, but again, it depends on the character. Right. 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 Like against a Byleth, it's fine to shield under them because of, unless they have time to get all the way away from you in forward air, they're going to land on you with a Nair, in which case you can punish with up smash. Right, yeah. So it depends on the character, the frame data, right? Yeah. Like we fit Nair, because you mentioned that one explicitly, is, let's go check, I think it's like minus six. Yeah, all of her aerials are relatively... Surprisingly safe. Yeah, and then with deep breathing, I think they become safer, don't they? No idea. Yeah, it's minus five, minus four. Yeah. Granted, that has to be perfect obviously and you can tell if it is or not and then you can up smash it anyway right um but a lot of what you want to do is basically just think of the risk reward sometimes shielding's good sometimes you can try to parry right and then there's the innate mix-up of against fox are like parry are they going to down air or nair and you have to be ready to reshield right right um but you just have to you know if you're just scared then just try not to get hit See? Like that. I'm a Fox player. <laughs> that's not true, is it? Yeah, that's true. Oh, jeez. That sad moment when you're a banjo main and simple things like that just baffle you. Boy went under it. I'm a god. Nice. Yep. Yeah. I'm alive. What the fuck? That move sucks. Oh, shit, you were aggressive with it? Oh, good dash back. Thanks. Sucks. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Oh, but I had no, no. job. Yeah. Oh, you went under it? I thought you were yeah. going to grab the ledge. I literally wasn't looking at you when I heard, Wee! and I was like, why are you up being? <laughs> yep. No, I, I, that was a missed input. Unfortunate. Um, like, obviously, it is just hard to keep up with. What the? I have a giant person. Jesus Christ. Um, it's hard to keep up with. Uh, some of the higher damage characters because it's like, oh, I guess right once and you guess right four times and I'm winning. Right. That's why you got to just make sure like the advantage, the cone thing or like the off stage is like really, really key. Right. Like, and I, I think, uh, I think too, I was noticing there too, like I would think I was right outside range, like right outside the range and then your Nair would barely clip me and start your combo. Like I'd be like, I think I'm far away enough. Yeah. But really, it's just. And that's just experience. Right. Like that, it's fine that that happens because you're learning right yeah so it's one of those like oh like you realize like there's been times where like i'm gonna jump in thunder jolt as, as pika 
because a Luigi can't hit me here, and then I get back aired, and I'm like, oh, right, Luigi's jump's fucking high. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that type of thing is uh, really important yeah. to just understand that of, like, characters burst ranges, their air mobility, blah, 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 blah. Right. Like, it's really important because that way you can put yourself outside that range and do the things I talked about. Right, yeah. Um, I'll stay Fox, I guess, for a little bit. Yeah. Do no. you have any questions so far? No, I think I honestly right there that that's really helpful. Just keeping in mind that way of like that cone. I've never thought of it that way. Like I, and the I, thing is, if they go away, like let's say you pick to go to they pick to go or you pick to go in front of them and then they move backwards. Right. Because mm -hmm. you did it. You try to do it at the top of the cone. You should wait a little bit till they can start moving and then it's a little bit easier. Right. But then if they back up and you end up being in a position like this, you just get your grenade. Yeah, true. Like you just go, OK, you backed up and you just go short hop. Uh, uh, right. And then fight. Right. right. Yeah. So, so just like, resetting neutral. Either way, it's fine. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's a mix up. And do the Smash 4, but no one air dodges there. Oh. No, it's still reached. Thank you, Dyer, for the eight months. to shield it. Oh, wow. Fox I believe that actually it. killed. You're right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you fucking high profile that when you oh, that's annoying. Tried this short hop, and I would have been able to shield it. Let's go, sour spot. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. That putting on platform is actually kind of nice. It, it is really nice because it's usually. I'll smash hit the platform. Um, it can, but up tilt's way better. Um, yeah, okay. Egg to up tilt will actually kill the same percents as snakes up tilt now, ever since it's yeah. buffs way back when, so. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just harder because obviously you can cancel dashes with up smash. Right, so. yeah. It's a little bit, easy. it's easier to react. Um, 
Hmm. Uh, is there a way for Banjo to cover high? Do you think maybe against Fox's recovery, if I'm going to like side B high, you should just be like up being? Um, yeah. I like, like, like up be fair. I, I think it, it's a lot of things because people often ask, like, why don't you do up be at a disadvantage similar to Sonic? Just because Banjo's charge is a little longer. So it definitely is more of a commitment to do up be high. Because I mean, I can double yeah. jump back air. Which is pretty good. Um, it's just also expectation of what. Fox well, you're also, is your do. jumps also suck. Yes, so like, they do. If I'm, so. like, there was a couple times I side beat that I was like, "Oh, you can't hit me here," but like a lot of characters would be able to. Right. Um, right. And I was, I didn't know if uh, doing it like up B into something it, would be it more could. Helpful. And like I've done that before. Um, yeah. It just once again, you just have to be ready for it. You just yeah. have to play and like be like, okay, they do this, they do that, so. Recovering low is obviously scary versus Banjo because he has the billion two frame moves. Yes, yeah. Um, so I'm just curious about that. Mm -hmm. And it's also scary because like Fox in theory can just like overshoot. So like sometimes just like I'm going to dash back won't work because he's faster than you and just is still up on you. Which is Right, like exactly, perfect. exactly. And that's just Fox being good. That's not really like a how do I deal with it? I'm bad. It's like, no, that's just it's Fox. It's just Fox doing Fox things. Jesus Christ. Oh, I appreciate the attempt. Oh, nice Z-drop. That was sick. Good. Perfect. <laughs> Imagine. Sometimes the best idea is just to do it. Didn't think I was going to hit it. Hell yes. Oh, good catch. You also don't really... Well, I'll talk about that after the game. Oh, I tried to land and jump. You watched my video. Or independently know how to do that, but... I actually, I, I think I did see that from your video. So good. Every time someone does that, I'm like, haha, I've talked to people. Lol? Lol? That, was on, that one was on purpose, though. Oh, I didn't think it was going to still be active to do the final hit. Ugh. Nice. <laughs> what were you going to um, say, though? One thing I wasn't doing? Yeah, so I think also you aren't good at knowing when you can actually punish things. You just assume you can't when that's not the case. Like, I'm up smashing and you're going for, like, really minor punishes. Like, Fox's okay. up smash is minus, like, 34 or some shit. <laughs> oh, so it's... it's like bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can you can drop shield forward smashes like most characters in this game. Let me double check to make sure that that math does work. Yeah, because that's the funny thing is Banjo has so many kill moves, just sometimes struggles to do damage. Yeah, because uh, Fox's up smash is minus 36. Your forward smash is frame 19. Yeah. So you can actually drop shield forward smash. Okay, that's good to know. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. 
So that's the thing is like, and, and I did it with a uh, dash attack as well. And I know dash attack can cross up, but it doesn't seem to cross up Banjo. So like, you're just like jumping away when I dash attack your shield mm. instead of just like grabbing me. What? Yeah. What is it on shield? Minus. Well, it's minus 17 the first frame. But if I hit last frame, it is 722 minus nine. So you can always shield grab it. I, think. I was going to say, you're... yeah, always shield grab is like negative six. I mean, it's frame six. Well, it's frame uh your your grab is frame seven so actually if they do dash attack hold jab and it's the very last frame of dash attack then it won't work but also it's probably not also you can up smash it regardless right yeah okay no that's good to know i think that's for a lot of faster characters just knowing what you can and can't punish um exactly like just knowing the frame data yeah so for for example though say like you're just like fox or sheik or any of these faster characters and you're just pressuring the shield over and over with landing aerials would you just say just get out of the situation try to reset neutral try to reversal try to what would you like what would you say in that situation it, it depends on how they're pressuring and what percent you're at yes. sometimes if sometimes at like 70 getting fared by a sheik isn't the biggest deal in the world because she's going to fare bouncing fish at most right um and if you can like get a kill if you're right, then maybe try to up smash or like, again, if you can parry it, great, parry, jab, parry, I've told something like that. Mm -hmm. But if you can't, uh, you can still just get into a better position, basically. Like sometimes, oh, sorry, Harris, I never played Shaggy. Uh, sometimes you just get, uh, sometimes you're just going to get pressured. So you have to move, you have to, also what I do a lot against Sheik personally is I just throw out my moves and I hope they trade. Gotcha. Like, I would just dash attack, essentially. Mm -hmm. Or, like, up smash. Like, she jumps, I'm just gonna up smash sometimes. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, as Pika, I dash attack a shit ton. Granted, Pika's dash attack is very good. I'm pretty sure, actually, uh, Banjo's up smash does beat out Fox Snare, I think. But it's just, like, but it would be risky. It, it, it would be risky, too, though, to just throw that out sometimes. Yeah, obviously. It, no, it's definitely scary, for sure. Uh, I'm going to go Banjo a game. Your Banjo is definitely better than mine. So this is not a, oh, pl see how I play Banjo. No, it's... But maybe like some areas because like I generally have an advantage. Like my general advantage state is like pretty good and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. No, I think that'd be good. Because it's funny. I, I mean, I want to just get shit on, which is fine. <laughs> no, because like, like I said, like I'm one of like the top people when it comes to Banjo optimization. But a lot of times what that means is focusing on Banjo fundamentals, which are different than regular fundamentals. And so yeah. I can miss out on things. Is that a combo? Uh, yes. You just have oh, to yeah. hit it at uh, this particular place. You have to hit yeah. the, the down air really close to their body, or else they can jump out of it. Gotcha. Nice. For up smash, you actually don't have to move forward. It'll automatically uh, clip okay. them. So when you decide to play Banjo out of Major, just so you know. Okay, thanks. <laughs>
Oh, fuck it, yeah, that way. No, I thought I would get farther. I should have done the ledge hop version. Thanks, grenade. Nice. I also like using egg like it's T-Jolt. Mm-hmm. Try to say a little hard against, you know. Oh, you got it. Nice. Yeah, I, I think, I because when I, like, when I'm coaching about that, too, I, th I think, because T-Jolt actually is pretty laggy, isn't it? Yeah. So I, I think, because I've... I'm always iffy when it comes to it because you definitely have to do it airborne because when you're on the ground, it has it's so, so bad. Like, it's so easy to jump over. Yeah. But I think actually against faster characters, that wouldn't be a bad idea to just do that, to just jump and egg sometimes. Plus, like, you can technically take some space with it if, unless they took the space already and, like, are shielding, but then they're shielding and you get a mix-up. Right, yeah. And I think, too, because a lot of times, like, if I have a big lead on someone, yeah, I'm just going to zone and just wait for them to make mistakes because why not? That's yeah. You do that with any character in this game. Um, and so it's just, like, honestly, I should probably just start doing that in general, just in the game plan as well. Yeah, like, you don't have to be winning to be more defensive. Like, you can just camp if you want to. Like, I don't, because I'm stupid, but I like aggression. <laughs> well, I, I and I don't think Pika, like, Pika's fine, because Pika's disadvantage is so good, so it's Ooh. just... Really? Oh, nice. Oh god, that was buffered. What? Yeah, that's that's the problem with his up smash, is it really it sucks. Yeah, his range on it is not great. Like I was right that you get up attacked me. Huh? I'm like flabbergasted. See, okay, yeah, that's that honestly is really good. Just for a simple pressure like that with egg, I think that is definitely something I need to implement more just against the faster characters. Because I'm like, I don't even like using, I mean, that's because I don't know how to use it, but like, I don't like using the second part of that part of the Briegel Blaster. Yeah. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just like, ooh, T Jolt. Yeah. Like, no, I had it... T Jolt, but it's T Jolt. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, Briegel Blaster, the gun part takes. Hey, that takes months to like master its frame perfect inputs and everything and like i'm talking it's... about like the turnaround thing yeah i won't try it oh oops, sorry do you know how yeah. to do it the forward smash into tilt like it's forward smash shield other direction so it's it's i want to just do the turnaround the double shots is just forward smash and then flicking in the other direction right after Yeah. 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 That, eight twice? Yeah. So you can. There we go. Yeah. It'll do it instantaneously and you can feel it because it's like a pop up kind of thing. Because you end up doing this turnaround shield jump side B. Yes. Yeah. Fuck that. 
and it, yeah exactly <laughs> it's and that's the thing is it's just like banjo can be more than just a low tier but he takes way too much work for most people to even like consider it and then you can put in that much work with a character like Sheik or right. something or like it, she's hard but exactly And it's funny just because like people would be like one of Banjo's biggest weaknesses, like his air mobility, obviously, and a lot of times his speed, but like is his damage output. Yeah, hundred percent. But the thing that's, is, that's, my, that's the biggest one in my head. But the thing is, Banjo can kill you at fifty, and so it's just like a lot of times, if, yeah. If you can get those kills, it doesn't really matter because doing that that ladder to Wonderwing um, will actually kill like Palutena at like fifty five. At ledge or in general, or like from center? Um, at like if she's standing right where I am, right here, that'll kill okay. at fifty five. Yeah, um, and from center, probably like eighty. So still really early, relatively. Yeah. So. Oh gosh. No jump. No, I had a jump. I just was not thinking. True combo. No, I tried to spot dodge instead of just shield. <laughs> it's negative. Also, six. it was a little high, so I was gonna say, yeah, it wasn't spaced perfectly, but it was negative six, so yeah, it just fast forward. Well, also, it was stale as well, so it might have been <laughs> true. Very true. But like, you can tell the difference. Like when I'm getting like damage, I'm like, oh, I'm like advantage stating you, and you just know banjo shit. Right? Exactly. That's... But like, I'm able to get like four or five hits in advantage because i'm like okay well get the hit here you're gonna double jump so i'm gonna wait because that way the cone changes and then i'm there for the cone okay i'm gonna up air because banjo's like falling aerials aren't that great etc cetera, etc cetera. right yeah you know what i'm saying no that's a really good point or it's like you can do that then if you're punishing with the fancy shit then you're getting more damage than i am in general you know what i'm saying oh some bullets That way. Nice back here. Nice. The baits. I think we're gonna hit the platform. Oh, yeah, that way. Nice. Okay, so that's not true at all. I just was trying to down air you for it, and so that's why that worked. Is it not true? No. Or do you mean just that not at zero? It, no, it's never true. I've really? like, I've tried everything, even with the training mode mod. What the fuck? Yeah. It's literally, like, it sets up for a tech situation on Battlefield, but that's about it. I really do need to just use more single egg like that just because it's like it's forcing me to shield so many opportunities. Yeah, exactly. Oh, good read. Oh no. Andy. 
I'll let it do that. No. You just did it. I missed. <gasps> that still hit? No. Come on. Uh. Oh. Don't run away. You no. Know? Please. No. That sucks. No, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do the, what I did to go off stage. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's too uh, funny. But like, you can... Yeah, I think it will too. Cause I mean, that, that's a really, that's just it, is making sure that you play the game and you're not just only gimmicking or like spamming your one thing and just like having a detailed game plan, then you can find the best place to do, um, you know, all those different uh, like techniques. Cause then you are playing the rest of the game, which is fine. I was like, yeah, give me a, give a minimum of a month because you got some stuff to learn. But like, obviously you're really good. I think you know you're good. So it's just you know, like shoring up your weaknesses, basically. And hey, practice that cloud for shit matchups.